These days, APLUW physicist Team Elam's mind is 140 million miles away on the planet Mars, objective of NASA's 2020 Mars rover mission to the Red Planet. What we're really looking for are at least the thing that we would, uh, we would most like to find are fossils on Mars. A key player in the search, one of seven instruments the rover will carry on this mission. PIXEL, Planetary Instrument for X-ray Lithochemistry an instrument intended to reveal new clues to past life on Mars. We see here an image of the sensor head. By doing the X-ray lithochemistry, it can map out the element distribution of the rock that's looking at and put it on an image. So what this does is give you the interfaces, gives you the fine scale mineralogy. It tells you where the action is on the smaller scale. Materials with high Tim Elam likes to refer to Pixel as the coolest instrument on the Mars 2020 mission. One of the things that makes Pixel such a cool instrument is that it doesn't just tell us the composition of these materials, but it also tells us their structure, what elements are in different places. We can make a map of its spatial distribution. Um, and that's critical for finding biosignatures. Since Mars is such a dry environment and cold environment right now, we don't expect to find very much in the way of things that are alive right now. Pixel's main focus is not the present, but the past. It's designed to find evidence of uh, uh, life that may have been on Mars during a much earlier stage, when Mars would have been warmer and there would have been more water available on the surface. The sorts of signatures of past life that we would be looking for would be signatures of microbial life. So uh, not realistically looking for dinosaur bones and that kind of thing. If life ever existed on Mars, we expect it to have uh, been microbial. The carbon chemistry that usually yields biosignatures is long gone from Mars, virtually erased by extreme conditions and the passage of time, but leaving clues behind. So it's really the structure that is an indication that there was something alive, or that something that was once alive uh, in that structure. There's, it's, it's the morphology, the, uh, um, the arrangement uh, of the uh, different elements that gives us an indication that there was, uh, th that this is a fossil, that there was some light. Tim Elam is tasked with giving Pixel X-ray vision. For the Pixel project, my main area of responsibility is X-ray spectroscopy. Most of the people who are involved in this on, on the science team are experts in rock morphology and geology. Um, and I was brought into it uh, because they really needed an expert on the X-ray spectroscopy, on the X-ray fluorescence part of the instrument. I don't have an official title, but I like to think of myself as the chief spectroscopist. Tim's twin challenges, pixel survivability. It has to withstand the temperature extremes, um, and it has to withstand being transported to Mars and operate. And pixel accuracy. One of my main jobs is to make sure that it can give accurate results while it's on Mars. T minus 10. Pixel has to be rocket ready by 2018, Seven, so the pressure of time six, already five, weighs heavily. Four, three, two. People have not yet flown an instrument of this complexity with the high voltage power supplies that we need um, and the X-ray tubes and X-ray sources in order to be able to do an imaging um, X-ray fluorescence uh, instruments. The plan is to have the instrument itself built about two years from now. Um, and at that point, we can begin calibration and we can turn it over to NASA to start uh, getting it ready for launch. Tim Elam hopes to witness the 2020 Mars rover with Pixel on board blast off on its eight-month journey to Mars. I am very excited about the possibility of actually seeing the launch myself. Um, and in fact, I hope to take my entire family. Science at work for you. This is APL the Applied Physics Laboratory at the University of Washington in Seattle.